Welcome to Recovery Talks, a Fairbanks podcast, where experts from Fairbanks Treatment and Recovery Center, located in Indianapolis, Indiana, take time to discuss unique aspects of addiction, substance use disorder, and recovery, as well as other relevant issues with our guests. I'm your host, Kathleen Gill. I've been working at Fairbanks Recovery Center since 2007 and am a member of the recovery community since September 1st of 2000. Joining me today on Recovery Talks is Jeremy Watson. He is the Director of Business Programs at Fairbanks, where he runs Fairbanks Employer Services. Thanks for sharing your time with us, Jeremy. You're welcome. Good to see you this morning. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about your background and how you got into the field? I've worked in not-for-profit healthcare for about 20 years, mostly with children in uh, behavioral health and addiction. I have worked in operations, have worked in marketing, have worked in business development. And this was an opportunity to have a blend of those and, and really uh, be part of something that they're starting that's new here at Fairbanks. What interests you about recovery services? Sure. It's, it's obviously a very hot topic right now nationally and especially in Indiana with substance abuse disorders. So um, being part of the answer to some of those, uh, those issues that we have is, is very appealing. Fantastic. It's wonderful to be part of the solution. We hear so much about the, the problem and it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. So your job is to help companies drive down employer behavioral health costs. What is that exactly? We know that behavioral health affects you know, lots of people in, in each organization. Um, when we look at the direct and indirect costs that uh, that, can, uh, that can have for an organization, a, a company of a thousand people, uh, when we look at behavioral health, it can actually cost the company over $350,000 in expenses. Those expenses are related to absenteeism, productivity loss, theft, sick time, and lower quality work. So it's a huge issue for employers right now. Jeremy, are there certain industries that struggle more with addiction than others? I believe all industries have individuals that uh, suffer from substance abuse disorders. I think the statistics would show that over 70% of those individuals with substance abuse disorders are employed either full or part-time. So we know a large portion of, of those employees, larger than we might think, a portion of those employees may be struggling with a substance abuse disorder. The typical process is to let those people go if they are struggling with addiction? We hope not. Uh, we hope that, and, and that's part of employer services, is working with the employer so that we can uh, ensure that they understand what's available to their employees based on their own benefits um, and, and get them the help that they uh, need to come back and be a productive member of, uh, of that employer group. Thank you for helping me understand the behavioral health costs. Tell us a little bit about these different services. Sure. The first is employer services, and employer services really is just Fairbanks working to uh, ensure employers understand their benefits as they relate to behavioral health and addiction uh, and understand the process of how to get one of their employees into, um, into the appropriate treatment. So that's employer services, and that works for any organization of any size. The other program that we have is uh, Fairbanks Spotlight, which is specifically geared towards um, those organizations that are self-funded in their health insurance, um, usually 500 or more employees. And, and that is actually a unique combination of three different elements, um, a predictive analytics element, uh, behavioral health coaching, and then treatment. So it's proactively reaching out to those individuals who might be identified at, at risk and uh, trying, to, trying to meet that need early on and so that it doesn't become a, a larger issue. Interesting. Uh, how do these services work for a company? For example, how would somebody get connected with you? Sure. Fairbanks Spotlight is a little, uh, a little different in that we would come out and we'd actually look at the benefits that that, that person or that organization has. We'd look at their history of claims data and be able to put together a, a, a proposal to, to let them know what, 
we believe their expense is specifically to their organization and the uh, savings that we might be able to provide them on a reduced healthcare spend. And, and the other things I mentioned as well, productivity, absenteeism, all of those things. So you believe that it is more cost effective to have an employee receive treatment versus letting them go and hire a new employee? Absolutely. We've also seen that a lot of employers want to do this. They really want to help the, the individuals that are employed there. Um, so, so for us, it's a good opportunity, and it's been a great conversation with some of those employers who really understand this is a need um, not just for the employees but sometimes for their family members. So they come to us, and, and it's, it's really nice to sit down and develop a program between the two organizations to how, how we can work to get that person the help that they need. So what makes a company a good candidate to engage with Fairbanks Employer Services? Sure, any company is a good is a good candidate and then we can determine based on that company's specifics what program would work best for them. So um, but Employer Services itself, we have a coordinator that will help uh, we, we say they will help navigate that employer through the process of getting someone into treatment. So any organization can utilize that. Okay, and then are there uh, any candidates that are not a good fit? No, I, really any employer can at some level engage with us in employer services. Okay, very good. Can you explain to me um, how you model out a program for each business depending on their needs? Sure, probably the easiest way to, to talk about that is our spotlight offering. Um, it, with the predictive analytics, they look at historical data. They look at 19 different points of data and put this through an, an algorithm, I guess is what the, they would say, and it identifies those individuals. And then a licensed behavioral health coach reaches out to them. Um, so so we, can, we can show what we believe the savings of that behavioral health coach reaching out to them could provide. I, I liken it to going to the dentist and you go to the dentist every year in hopes that you don't have a large expensive bill some other time if you just waited until there was an issue. So we're not waiting until there's an issue. We're proactively reaching out and giving them the tools that they already have access to uh, with their employer's benefits, letting them know how to utilize those tools. So with the employer benefits, it's safe to say that the programming would be covered by insurance? So that's one of the things we work with employers to, to discern is we look at their benefits plan and we make sure, uh, one, that we want to be in network with those. Okay. Uh, and then we want to understand the benefits and, and, and the out-of-pocket for the employee. So we'll work with the employer benefits department at, at an organization to, to help them understand so that they can educate the employee as well. We don't want any surprises for them. So if a organization decides that they would like to partner with Fairbanks, um, what would that look like for them to get started with you? Sure. It could look differently for, for different organizations, but I would encourage them to reach out. Um, you can go to our website, FairbanksEmployerServices.com, and there's some information you can fill out. Uh, there and then we would it would really be customized for that organization so we come out and we'd listen to what the needs of that organization are what what their employees uh, needs might be and then we would develop that partnership between us and them at that time very good so your goal for this program what are your hopes since this is a brand new program that's just been launched Sure. I think the, the goal is to have relationships with those large employers so that the ease of access to services for their employees is increased. So really, uh, we, know it's a, we know it's an issue. We know substance abuse is a large issue. We know that employers are now looked to for uh, individuals' health care needs. So how can we you know, use those employers to help be a conduit to that treatment? I wonder how many... Uh, when you have people calling in sick and is there statistics out there on how how much is substance abuse related versus sure there, there are a lot of statistics coming out now because it has been such an issue so um, a lot of statistics about absenteeism and and the just reduced productivity and it's it's um, 
when we talk to employers, it's not only their own uh, issues. So they may be absent from work or utilizing sick time because of a child, an adult child's issue with addiction as well. You know, we read in the newspaper all the time about addiction. We, uh, as a woman in long-term recovery, I'm going to answer or ask you a very difficult question. And I guess from your experience and perspective, is what do you think is a key to long-term recovery? Well, I think you said it. It's long-term. That, that's what I think some people miss, and that's what I like about Fairbanks is their commitment to long-term recovery. It's not you go somewhere for 30 days and come out and you're cured. It's a, it's a lifetime of how do you stay in recovery, and that's Fairbanks' commitment to the community. So not only do they have the full continuum of care, so they have every level of care, needed for that individual, but they go above and beyond. We have a great alumni program that individuals stay engaged in that recovery community throughout their life. Ages 13 and up are served at Fairbanks, so adolescent programs, adolescent residential programs, level one counseling, all of those things are available. And our Hope uh, Academy is on our campus as well. And Hope Academy is one of Indianapolis's best kept secrets. It is a charter high school, free tuition, um, focused on core 40 diploma with uh, focus also on on recovery from substance abuse disorder. So uh, the kids that are coming through Hope Academy, it's amazing to see them turn their life back around. And when kids go to the traditional high schools, it's so hard for them after they've come out of recovery treatment or recovery to then go back to the traditional high school and and be exposed to a lot of drugs and alcohol. So thank you so much for joining us, Jeremy. At Fairbanks, we like to say, together we can. How would you finish that sentence? Together we can. Truly enjoy life. Uh, from everyone that I've talked to, that's that's really what recovery is about, to have the opportunity to really enjoy their life and get their life back. So that's what I, I believe that Together We Can uh, represents. Fantastic. And we need corporations and companies to be aware of the problem and be aware of the solution and to play a part, and Together We Can. If you or a loved one needs support in the journey of recovery, The experts at Fairbanks Treatment and Recovery are here for you. Visit our website at fairbanksrecovery.org for recovery resources or call 1-800-225-4673 for immediate help. Thanks for listening.